Hi guys, Zaki with another Commander Conquer yes, sir. Red Alert video. In this game, I'm playing a free for match on Destruction Derby. It is a troll game. I'm playing as the allies and the rules are, as the usual, it's going to be no tanks, no rangers, no artillery, so no attack vehicles. We do allow APCs because they're very good for like engineers and tanniers and we will be allowing mine layers also. And as you can see, I'm just going to get some uh, visibility on this map. Now, there is a reason I chose this map for a troll game, and uh, that's a good troll tactic, actually, from our red there, getting some dogs out early on. Uh, we don't see that very often. But uh, the reason I chose this map was on Destruction Derby, it's more of a or map, so it's a bit different from Arena Valley Extreme. And the, the there are gems on it, but they're in the middle on an island. So it sort of makes this like quite a good map to do it on because what it does is it forces you to try and be a bit more aggressive and with troll game it making it a little bit harder because troll games one of the important things is you need lots of ore and you need time as well to build up so this one is going to be a little bit more challenging because of the type of map it is. And you can just see us sending some troops around. We do have Red, who are located very, very close to us. Uh, so that could be a big problem early on. And you can see us getting that construction, uh, that service depot out really early. Because we're going to be trying to get those MCVs out and build up ASAP. I mean, there's no... Uh, there's yeah, there's not much we can do with the war factories anyway, so you do have to get the the construction yards out, the MCVs out, because we can't build vehicles, so it doesn't really matter in that respect. The only thing we could build is, I guess, an APC to do an engineer rush, which we haven't decided to do this game. And I don't think it's possibly not the right map to do it on, since we only have access to ore. And if you do do an APC early, it does really cost you a lot in terms of ore, uh, because they are very expensive to build, engineers. And the benefit may not be that great. Also, if you don't have, if you're not able to build tanks, and the other opponent builds, uh, tries to counter you back with tanks, it does screw you a little bit. I mean, I've had that uh, done in other, in some of the troll games. As I say, uh, we we do tra these troll challenges. Uh, we do have a maximum of five attempts. So this is either the best of the five attempts uh, that I failed, or it's the one that I managed to complete the challenge. So we're going to see if we're able to do it today. As I say, it is a little bit harder than our other challenges uh, with the gems being in the middle of the map. Because what it means is I can either keep away from the middle and that allows another team to collect the gems or I do have to go a bit more aggressive early on, uh, which can obviously be hard with this style of gameplay. And you can see me uh, getting my economy uh, worked up right at the moment. Um, and But you can see, I don't have anything to defend, and at this point, people could be coming and launching attacks on my base. So, we've been fortunate so far, and I'm quite surprised the Red's been so passive, uh, but it's working in our favour. Unit lost. Because, yeah, this is quite a hard position I'm in, uh, because you can get attacked from the top of the map, you can Unit also ready. get attacked by the player at the bottom of the map. And I'm just trying to get a bit of visibility here and uh, see what's going on around the middle of the map and other areas. And you can see as we're getting the more construction... Yeah, you can see my economy is really struggling actually at the moment. Um, really is. And it's just it's just for the fact that I'm only able to collect ore. It's much harder to like benefit from that MCV. It takes a lot harder. It's a lot harder to get that economy going. Which probably makes this uh, map a little bit more challenging. Because um, as you can see, I'm really struggling. And I'm actually building some ore trucks in order to help uh, some growth. Uh, just to take a little bit of a break from the uh, MCV. And I'm just going to send some ore trucks uh, up to the top here. Unit ready. And yeah, I've got another one, so I'm going to send a couple there. I'm also going to build my radar dome, which is really important, because you can. what you can see is I've been trying to get a lot of visibility on the map, and that makes it a lot easier for me. And now we can see the green is in the middle, and I think that's an outside base, because we can see him in the top uh, left. And now it's time to start getting our defences up. You can see our economy is coming online, uh, finally. We can see we've got a big attack from green. He's using light tanks, and we're going to have to build as many defences ASAP here. Um, he's going for the radar dome, which has given us a chance to build up, thankfully. 
and yeah it's given us a little bit of power and destroying that so it's not such a bad thing that radar dome did come in handy i know people have said in the past they don't realize they don't uh, that i shouldn't build a radar dome at the front of the base but in that occasion it did help because the light tanks went to that radar dome it allowed me to build up my turrets and we were able to defend because of that um, so sometimes it does help and yeah i'm just uh what i'm doing is i'm building some destroyers because if he's uh, mining from the middle of that gem patch i want to be able to destroy that bridge and now you can see he's got loads of light tanks here so what we're doing is we're going to try and surround his base with pillboxes and let's try and get this uh especially this ore refinery and Although light tanks aren't actually that great against pillboxes, pillboxes do still do a decent amount of damage. Just because light tanks are so durable, uh, they're just like really, well not durable, the opposite of that, they're not durable and they're very easy to destroy. And now you can see my destroyer attacking that bridge. Well it doesn't look like he's, he's possibly not going to be able to hold this anywhere. I don't think he's, or, ah, his, or, his or trucks are going to the middle of that map. Uh, so once that bridge does get destroyed, and you can see, he's actually quit the game. Oh, and that's a, that's a surprise. So he actually uh, just, he's just full off on quit. And he did seem to be in like a reasonable position. I, well, he wasn't in a good position, but uh, I think he just saw me destroying that bridge, possibly. And I've just realised now I don't want to destroy that bridge anymore. I want to uh, keep away from that, because uh, I want to use it myself. So that's a big bonus for me. So green quitting like that is allowing me to get access to those gems and that's going to be a really really big help to me and i'm just selling some of those defenses just so i can get uh, my next well my ore truck in a better position and get my next or and i'll get my next ore refinery in a good position and you can see red still at the bottom of the map in the bottom left and uh, not he hasn't gone on the attack yet um, so I've been quite lucky in that regard. But what I'm doing now is I'm building up my defences around this middle area. And it's really important that we're able to hold on to this. And I'm also building another war factory up here. Because what I want to do is I want to build some more construction yards. Just to increase that building speed a bit further. And now that I'm mining gems, you can see how my economy is absolutely exploding. Probably because of all the ore trucks as well I've got in other parts of my base. Um, the start of the game was just about really building up that economy. And now that I've got that economy going, I've got plenty of uh, reserves uh, to keep me on the offensive. And I think we've got two teams left. Uh, what we have done, though, is we've sort of put ourselves in the middle of the map. And that, what that means is we're probably going to have to fight both teams, uh, possibly at once. Um, so that's probably not too desirable. Uh, but what I am doing is I'm making sure I get access to all this ore. So we're trying to expand to as many ore patches as possible and just expand our base. So even if we attacked on one part of our base and lose our economy there, we've still got other parts of the map to fall back upon. And you can see how much we're stacking uh, ore anyway. So um, hopefully... It will be all right. And now I can see some movement from Cyan. I'm starting to build some tanks. But well, you can see he's coming in with heavy tanks uh, right now. And yeah, we're going to have to see what does he go for. I've got my turrets building, but heavy tanks are very durable. And they do have, they do do a lot of damage. And you can see me trying to produce, uh, oh, and he's, you can see he's actually got some MiGs as well. I'm not too worried about the MiGs though, because I've got so many construction yards. And what we're going to do is we're going to start building Tanya's now. Because uh, we he's left it. He's just went on the attack from our base. And we're going to build a load of Tanya's and start destroying his base. And he'll obviously uh, be seeing this right now. He'll notice that we've got Tanya's in his base. And he's just realised. And now he's uh, focusing back on attacking. Because Tanya's could, could just destroy buildings so, so quickly. And we do have an absolute load of barracks. Uh, it's one way to spend your money though. Uh, having all these Tanyas and uh, yeah I'm going to need to destroy this Tesla coil uh, because it's just going to zap the Tanyas as soon as they get out and so we're just getting a load of uh, pill boxes to fire on it and you can see those Tanyas uh, doing a decent job and actually we need to go we should go for that power and you can see he's losing this uh, map this upper part of the map uh, where he does have some economy and you can see him selling up here and we're also going to be able to destroy his radar dome, which he's actually sold. Um, so he's uh, 
Ooh, and there's a little uh, MIG lying on the ground there. Um, so we're going to have to see, are we safe in other parts of the map? We've got satellite now, but I can't actually see anything because I don't have a radar dome. And you can see Red going on the attack at the bottom of my base. And he is using Tanya's just like me. Oh, that was a good attack by uh, Red there, I guess. Uh, but now I can see the whole map. And I'm just getting some pillboxes lined up along the bottom of my base. Essentially, though, I do still have the middle. And that's what I sort of was talking about at the start, about when you expanded across the map. Even if you do lose your economy at one part of the map, you do have the other parts of the map to fall back up on. And that's what's happening right now. Uh, but now we're in a fight with Cyan. And Cyan, you can see, is spread up to, out to lots of different positions. And I can see them at the top of the map there also. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to destroy uh, that base. And you can see I'm struggling a lot on power at the mo moment. And uh, I'm just wondering, where's that... Do I have a radar dome? I think it might have got destroyed somewhere. Oh, and he's destroyed my information centre as well. Maybe it's a mix, I'm guessing. Because he did have some of them. And I probably sh what I should have done earlier is just put a gap generator up. And you can see he's now going on the attack on this base with his, uh, with his tanks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start expanding down while he's focused on that. Because uh, sometimes the best form of defence is just offence. And that's what this tactic's really good for, I guess. Uh, going on the offence. I'm going to need to build some silos to go over here. Uh, because the Tanyas can just do so much damage in a short space of time. And you can see he's not going to fall for the same trick twice. He's sort of got his tanks here. Just to, just to try and stop this event advance. But you can see we're building these buildings very, very quickly. Uh, but you can see he's probably got on the ball this time. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to defend like we did last time. And we are going to still build a load of Tanyas though. And see what they can do. Because like, I mean tanks aren't that great at fighting against uh, infantry. And he's going to, if he's focused on destroying these barracks. It's going to be really hard for him to focus on his base at the same time. And now you can see we're getting some of those buildings uh, down. And he is going to have to divert some of his attention. He is, uh, you can see there with his Tesla coil. But he's got out of power and we've managed to destroy that Tesla coil. And he's sold that ore refinery. So a bit of a misplay from Cyan there. Oh, but you can see that Tesla coil there was uh, ready. Um, so what we're going to do is now is we're going to take in pillboxes. And pillboxes aren't actually bad against. You can see that missile launcher getting destroyed there. Yeah, because the missile launchers aren't too bad. And you can see he's trying to target my pillboxes with that uh, with that Tesla coil. And Tesla coils are very strong against pillboxes. And uh, that's a bit of an issue. And we're also trying to destroy his power plants while we're here. And destroy his ore refinery. Yeah, you can see his Tesla coils still have power. Um, so the, at the moment they're firing on my pillboxes. And while they're firing on my pillboxes, what I can do is I can destroy them with Tanya's. And you can see a few Tanya's there and selling that. So this guy is actually quite good at selling things before they get destroyed. So he will be saving some of his ore. And now you can see we've got the map visibility back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to this top base, which I can see is not very well defended. So we're going to get some uh, power plants in here. We'll get a barracks and we'll get some Tanya's out. Construction complete. And I think I'd actually need to, yeah, you can see the Tanya's coming there. And we're going to be able to destroy those two ore refineries because that is going to hurt Cyan's economy quite a bit. And you can see Cyan's uh, down quite a few, quite a bit now. And we'll have to see what he decides to do. You can see him coming in with his heavy tanks. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to build as many turrets as possible. Um, but you can see he's got like, I guess he's got tanks all over the map um, scattered around. And we'll have to see what he can do. And we'll have to see if Red decides to get involved in this game. And you can see in my main base. I'm just getting a bit more defended because I do realise he does have some tanks in different places. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some cruisers to help at the bottom of the map. But you can see he's going for an attack on the power plants at this ta bit time. And it must be like thinking what on earth is going on here because these tactics are not normal. Um, but yeah, you can see we're starting to push him back. Yeah, and you can see, uh, you can see there's just not much he can do really. He's trying to like attack my base, but as soon as he destroys things, I'm just building more. 
And because I've got so much map control, I have so much ore, even though the ore isn't as good as it used to be. But Tanya's are very, very expensive. Um, but yeah, you can see he's uh, struggling um, at this moment in time. And you can see now we've got the cruisers. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the cruisers to this bottom position and attack his base on that side. And you can see Cyan is struggling a lot. He's got very little left. And we just what we've managed to do is we've just managed to take out base bases one at a time, uh, really. And you can see he's see he's seen this position failing right now. And you can see we're firing on him in this position, but he's coming for the attack on the other side of my base. So I'm going to need to build up some defences here, and we'll have to see how these uh, tanks do. But it looks like we're all right at the time being. I don't know. Actually, he's starting to filter through, but uh, we've just got so much defence in this base. You can just see how many turrets we've actually got um, but he is getting through and he is able to destroy some of those yeah construction yards but you can see at the end of the day there's just too many turrets there and I'm just going to have to move those construction yards out but they're a bit stuck uh, for the time being and that's what happens when you have a compressed base uh, but what we'll have to do is we have to take uh, just try and take out those um, plant oh I'm trying to destroy oh and I've lost, uh, you can see, the thing about cruisers is they do a lot of damage, but they also do attack your own buildings. And it's sort of, I think, with the cruisers there, they've helped destroy my information centre, which means, yet again, I don't have much map visibility, but I do have a lot of uh, a lot of construction yards, which is going to help me um, sort of uh, build back up. I mean, it's not in, I'm not in that much of a bad position, really. I'm in a very strong position. But you can see the tank's going on there. They're attacking me from the right. Uh, so I'm going to need to try and defend this. And you can see he's actually got quite a big army there. It's quite surprising. I didn't think he'd have anywhere near that much. Because he did take most of his army there and got, got, got it destroyed. But it looks like he's got a de he's de able to start up back decently. Um, so he must have had a lot of ore stacked. And you can see he's now on the offensive. And I'm just working to build that radar dome again. Although I have got one, so I think it's just a power issue. Uh, but you can see, now he's going on the attack with this army. And he's um, just going through my base. And uh, we'll have to see what he goes for. He's going for the power. Uh, but we do have a lot of turrets there. But there's just not enough many turrets uh, to defend uh, with this push. And you can see he's going for the construction yards. So this is... Uh, this is crucial at the moment. Uh, I've got this construction yard here, I guess. Um, so I'm going to build another war factory. And you can see those tanks yet again being destroyed. Yeah, you can see my base is pretty mashed up at uh, different areas. And you can see he's got, got an attack on that construction yard. And that means for now, actually, my base... Oh, I thought I still had a war factory there, but my war factory is actually gone, which means I've only got infantry left now. This is bad. This is really bad uh, because I can't build anymore. I can't build any more buildings. So we're just going for the attack on um, on Cyan now. And it's just an all out Tanya. And you can see him selling some buildings there, but he's been doing that all game because uh, he didn't have... I don't think he had too many bases left, so let's hope he doesn't. Uh, we're just going for a look around at the moment uh, because we can't... Yeah, we can see he's got some. Uh, he's got Training. some power plants there. And what have I got there? I think I've accidentally built some radar jammers, but uh, right. So we're going to go for the attack on these power plants. We'll have to see. He's trying to defend them with everything he's got. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, now we're going to destroy these power plants. Is, are these the last things he's got? And they are. And Cyan is out of the game. But this is really, really bad now because I'm left alone against red and I can't even see red's base that, that's what makes it even worse what I am going to do is I'm going to make a shed load of cruisers around that middle lake but as I say I can no longer build buildings so there's going to be no more pillboxes there's going to be no more turrets anything I have now is going to have to la well every building I've got once it's destroyed is going to be done for and you can see them putting some paratroopers there. I'm not sure exactly why they're there, but uh, they happen to be. So we'll just destroy them. And we're just going to get 
a bit of visibility and hopefully be able to get close in on his base. You can see we've got numerous Tanyas across the map and we're just getting a bit more better visibility of what's going on around his base. And you can see there, um, a bit of a, he's got defence, he's got missile launchers. Now missile launchers are a great defence against infantry because infantry are very, they just can kill loads of them at once. If you get a right missile launcher hitting, hitting infantry right, they just get destroyed. And you can see there, it seems he's got good defences at all sides of his base. And the thing is, his base is very compact. It's just in a small area, so it's not like we can pick on his outer bases. He's just got one single central point, which is very, very well defended. And not particularly what you want when all you can do is build infantry. Um, so this is going to be tough, very tough. Now the rest of the game will be edited a bit because there was a lot that went on that, uh, and it took a long, it did take a long time. So we will be cutting things out. Right. So the first uh, thing I wanted to do was to try and take out the ore trucks because um, he's got his base is well defended. He's got missile launchers there, um, the very, and obviously they kill uh, troops very easily. Um, he did, so he had a, he had a big army there so what we decided to, what I decided to do was to try and go for the ore trucks which were outside my base I obviously have the infantry uh, that I can use on some of the ore patches he's taking the things to though you can see he does have some missile launchers there I also have my cruisers and you can see the cruisers are firing on that ore patch and getting that ore truck killed there and I've just built more cruisers so I'm just going to be uh, massing them uh, so I get more and more and you can see there's another ore truck going down. Is it going to go down? Yes. And you can just see in a very short space of time, and you can see him ducking a nuclear bomb on my uh, people. But you can see in a very short space of time, I've just got three ore trucks down. So that's going to hurt Red's economy. He can build more, but we'll have to just see how he handles this. And now we're going to be following this ore truck. Uh, into this ore patch, you can see another ore truck going back. We're going to go for the kill on this ore truck as well, and you can see that one down. That's four ore trucks down, and um, so that's going to uh, obviously have a big impact um, on his game. Um, yeah, you can still see there's a like little bit of a problem in this part. Uh, you can see that ore truck uh, pulling away. Yes, sir. Unit acknowledged. So yeah, just keeping my eyes opening, looking for any opportunity where I can uh, get an ore truck kill. At least I've got him off that ore patch that's really close to his base, because I wouldn't really be able to do much there. It's just those two missile launchers are causing a little bit of hassle. And yeah, you can just see I'm set, just uh, keeping my troops around this area. And you can see there's an ore truck there, so we'll go for the kill there. And uh, it looks like it's going back, so it'll probably get away because it's a bit too fast. Uh, so unfortunately, we missed that opportunity there. And um, we didn't see it, uh, but we do have an ore truck here. And it looks like we're going to get that one down as well. So that's five ore trucks in total we've got. So we've cut his uh, ore truck fleet uh, down quite considerably. And what happened after this is he decided to go on the attack when he realised we were destroying all his ore trucks. So now he's got his air tanks and missile launchers going up from the bottom left of the map. And you can see him passing my base here. He's got quite a lot. He's got tanks. He's got missile launchers. And they're not just, not just one or two. They're in quite a mass. Um, and he's bringing them to the top of the map. So I think he's thinking, well, I'm not going to fight direct at this part where my cruisers are he wants to fight at the back of my base which is a bit of a problem because that's where my barracks are and yeah um, I need obviously those to produce their uh, infantry uh, so it could be a little bit problematic and you can see he's got a missile launcher there uh, protecting his base so I was just destroying that um, right so in this part I was like massing up my f troops because I'm getting ready for the attack I'm just spreading them out there, and then this happens. Absolutely. So my forces are absolutely smashed uh, before the battle even starts. And this is why I'm pulling my troops back. And now you can see his tanks and missile launchers are on the attack. And I just don't have enough at the moment. You can see there's not much I can do. Um, he's got infantry as well mixed in there as well. So missile launchers, heavy tanks, infantry, and that's putting me in a bit of a tight spot. And also, um, I've lost uh, my map. Uh, I can't really see much. 
So what I'm going to do is while he's focused on that, I decided to try and take uh, some Tanya's down to his base uh, to see if we could get uh, any kills. Because you can see there's no, like, I just can't stop this. Uh, we are whittling down his forces a little bit. Uh, but uh, while he's attacking um, my base, I'm just going to need to, I've got these four Tanya's. So we'll have to see if these can do anything. Because uh, I can't really see much past those tanks. We've got those tanks there. But I think because his forces don't have missile launchers anymore, I'm going to be able to get them past. Uh, so let's see what happens here. And those two were taken by Tesla coils. So what we'll do is we'll take these to the other side. And, oh, there was another Tesla coil there. So it looks like his base is just laden with Tesla coils. Which makes it very hard for us because obviously we can't, yeah, you, you're not going to get Tanya's uh, near Tesla coils unless they're absolutely on mass. So this is a quite a tricky situation. You can see the bottom of his base still defended by the missile launcher and some tanks. And you can see he's got those tanks too, but those tank numbers are going down. And it looks like miss there's only going to be the missile launchers left. Training. And which we do need to destroy definitely. Um, so we'll be trying to get those uh, missile launchers uh, down ASAP. Um, yeah, because it's uh, it, we're in sort of a tricky situation. And what's happened now is all my barracks are gone from the top of the map. I did have one barracks left, and that was a bit south. So I'm now down to one barracks. Um, and yeah, if I lose that barracks, obviously it's going to be game over. Um, so yeah, uh, one barracks production. You can see my speed, uh, my infantry building speed now. I think it's one barracks anyway. That's all I could uh, see in my base. So right, we're gonna go. And we've got a nuclear bomb. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire it on those troops. And yeah, we can see there. Uh, we've done a little bit of damage, not much, not as much as I hoped. We've killed a Tanya there, and now we're going to go for the attack with the infantry. They are spread out, so that missile launcher couldn't do as much damage. And now we're going in for the attack. Uh, we'll just have to hope the tanks don't squash us too much. Uh, but we seem to be doing okay for the moment. And you can see we're getting some uh, tank kills. We definitely will put in down those forces, which is the whole idea. And uh, we're going to try and take that mammoth, mammoth tank out as well, because mammoth tanks do do a lot. And... Yeah, you can see him bringing the Tanya in, and that Tanya's made a big difference from Red, uh, because it just, obviously, with the one-shots, um, the Tanya was able to uh, destroy us. And you can see he's got two ore trucks at the moment uh, on mining off that ore patch close to his base. And what we're trying to do at the moment is we're trying to take map control. We're trying to control the ore patches. And if we can stop his tanks going to those ore patches, then hopefully we're going to be able to... And we'll just have to do the Tanya shots for those infantry. But if we, can stop, if we can block the ore patches, um, it means we can win the game because we won't be able to produce any more units. So that's the current plan. Uh, it's just quite hard when you're fighting against vehicles as well, like tanks as well as infantry. Uh, but you can see we're just trying to take that down. But he's got a missile launcher and that's bad for us. Uh, but it's fired at the Tanya, so we just still had those troops behind. And now we're going to go for the ore truck uh, kill. And it looks like we're going to be able to get that ore truck. And that is down. And now we've got these troops coming up. Uh, rocket men, uh, but they're okay. And he's also got some MiGs that are coming in, but our army's starting to build up a little bit, and we're starting to control this ore patch. Um, at the moment. And you can see he's starting to bring infantry up, uh, but we've got plenty here, and I'm just bringing my Tanya forward, and just one shot in those things, and you can see that uh, ore truck's coming back, and as soon as I was going to fight, well, when I was going to try and go for it, uh, you can see he's managed to destroy me with my missile launcher so a bit later on i managed to get a tanya back and i was just destroying the troops there you can see he's actually building his air force now and we can see that there, there's his uh, missile launcher but we do have a lot of uh, infantry coming in and what we're going to try and do with this massive infantry is tesla coils only have like limited shots they only can shoot one at a time so what we're going to do is we'll go for the power plants so let's see if we can get the power plant kills and if the power plant kills are then it might short of on power. So we're going for the first power plant. And the Tesla Coils are still going. We're going for the second one. And we're losing a loss here. And it looks like he's still got power, unfortunately. So going for the power plants hasn't worked out as we'd hoped. What I hoped is I could destroy that first power plant, put him short of power, destroy the infantry, and then just start going through his base. But unfortunately, that's not the case. He does have plenty of power. And a bit later on, I was 
I decided to send some spies. So we're going to see how these spies work at getting into the base. And not too well. It, yeah, just uh, got killed immediately. Uh, so I haven't used spies before, so I don't know the ins and outs of them. But they certainly didn't work that time. Uh, they just got killed straight away. And this is when I noticed that actually he's got a base in the bottom yes, right so red has now expanded to the yes, bottom sir. right um, and we have to get rid of this immediately because we don't want him to get another base there because yes, uh, then he'll have access to all that ore and you can see the ore in the right bottom right of the map has really overgrown now and um, so he's good it's plentiful and if he gets a base set uh, there's pretty much no way we're going to be able to uh the ore destro uh, destroying the ore trucks is just not going to work and you can see he's got a dog and infantry there but i think we're going to be able to destroy them and now we're going to go on the base for the attack and uh, so we've destroyed the construction yard we've destroyed we're going to well we'll try to destroy the we've destroyed the oil refinery now and we've destroyed that power plant so we've managed to break that base uh, that he was building on that part of the map and now it's a fight with these tanks and we have to see how this tank battle goes. We can see that he's got a, a missile launcher. But uh, we'll go for the missile launcher first because that'll do the most damage. And it looks like we've managed to get that. And I think we do maybe have enough infantry uh, to take out these tanks. Uh, you can see he's not moving them around too much. So we're getting clear shots. And it looks like these heavy tanks are going to go down. Because if you don't move the tanks, they're not actually very effective against infantry. As you can see from this. And those four tanks are now down. And now we're going to go back. We're going to go along the bottom of the map and we're going to try and take out those ore trucks. And uh, we can see he's still got, he's got two ore trucks at, at the moment. Uh, so we're heading for them. And it looks like... And we're going for those ore trucks and he's tapped out. He has quit the game and that is absolutely mission accomplished uh, sort of uh, by... Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.